This is Ryan. Ryan has so many great ideas that he decided to start a podcast. Luckily, The Vault at Rock 31 has Ryan covered on all things podcasting. First, go ahead and hit that power button on the back. Hold on. Before you hit that record button, Ryan, you'll have to decide on which source to record onto. With this Rodecaster Pro, you have two options, directly onto your computer or onto an SD card. If you're a little more confident in your technical abilities, you can record directly onto your computer. Plug the USB cable into your laptop, set your audio input to Rodecaster Pro, and open your recording software. Or, the simplest method is the micro SD card. Insert the SD card into the back and select Format. This deletes everything off the card and allows the Rodecaster to record onto it. The top right corner also says how much available time you have on your SD card. If you have multiple people or sources recording, you may want to turn on multi-track settings. These will allow you to separate each channel individually while you're editing, but it will make your file larger. If you're unsure, don't worry about multi-track settings. Every input will simply record onto one track. Now that you've decided on a source to record onto, let's jump into using the board. Trust me, it's not as hard as it looks. The sliders control the volume of each input into the recording. The headphone knobs adjust how loud the podcaster's headphones are. The sound pads play built-in or custom sound effects. The record button records. Hey, Ryan, not yet. And the touchscreen does just about everything else. The first four sliders are each of your four microphones. Your starting levels for everything should be at Unity, that big line right in the middle. In order to get every input the same volume, you may want to change the gain, or sensitivity, of each microphone. Click the number above the microphone you're testing, then Levels, and the plus and minus button so that the signal comes roughly in between the two green lines at the speaker's regular volume. Don't worry too much if the speaker's volume doesn't come between those two lines, you can always adjust their volume using the slider as well. At the bottom we have our mute and solo buttons. The mute button is pretty self-explanatory. Clicking the mute button mutes the channel so that no input is recorded. Go ahead and mute every channel that you're not going to use in your podcast. If you plug your headphones into the headphone jack at the front of the board, the solo buttons allow you to listen to each channel separately. The fifth slider is for a USB device, such as a laptop, which can be connected via this USB cable. Number six is for a phone input via a 3.5mm auxiliary cable. The seventh channel is for a Bluetooth device. Click the Bluetooth button and select Rodecaster Pro from your device Bluetooth settings. These three channels are some great options to add audio or music directly into the recording so that you can discuss with your fellow podcasters or even incorporate a call-in guest. Lastly, the eighth slider changes the volume of the sound pads. You may notice that the first sound pad blinks even after it's been clicked. To get it to stop, let it play through its full minute long track or click the sound pads button in the settings panel and go to the second page of buttons. Now when you click back, the blinking goes away. His levels are set, his sources are plugged in, Ryan is so ready to hit that record button. Nope, not quite yet, Ryan. Here's a couple tips to ensure you have the best sounding podcast possible. First, is get comfortable. Sit back in your chair, take a deep breath, maybe even have some water handy. Now that you're relaxed and feeling comfortable, bring the microphone in so it's about a hand's width away from your mouth. This allows for a good strong signal without too many mouth sounds. So as you move during recording, move the microphone with you. All right, Ryan, I think you're ready. Go ahead and hit that record button. And one last tip. Maybe you're partway through your session and you wanna take a break. Simply hold down the record button until it starts blinking. This pauses the recording until you hit that record button again to continue. Then, once you're done, hit that record button one more time to stop recording. And that's it. Ryan, that's how you get started making podcasts at The Vault.